Welcome back to the Ministry of Andrew and the Buckeyes State Well, Today is a video of beginning and ending of summer of 2023. This would be before I get out of school from the summer. This is our first train, I-150, which had a Dash 8 liter, which had a horn that sounded like a Jeebo, but it's not a Jeebo, it's a Dash 8. But anyway, here comes a next train. This one is Lake State Railway from Flint, Michigan to Walbridge, Ohio. Fortunately, the Lake State is trailing due to PTC. They do have PCC, but they don't want to put more PCC on their Lake State 70Ms. That's odd. Let's look at this lake state that's heading south towards Walbridge. Alright, we're back in call to Michigan. Now, we're about to get I-132 from Slim, Illinois to Detroit, Michigan. He would have two, one is a weed belt and one is a normal Jeevo. But, we're back in Carlton, Michigan due to a meetup that's happening in Carlton. We would only get two trains, but two of them are in a mold. This one is I-132. He will be taking the Lincoln up towards Detroit since he doesn't have any more work like onto the 
the sub on the Saginaw sub. He'll be taking the Lincoln secondary. Alrighty, now we're getting M200 from Chicago to Walbridge, Ohio. We would get 911 leading this M200, but the trailing unit is a mace that is trailing second. He would actually go very, very slow due to him stopping in Lemoy, but it's just cool to get really good pictures of this guy going really slow on the Pemberville. I would hear it after we left um, the Carlton meetup. Ever since that, I've been keeping an eye on it on this one. So, let's just get this M200 with 911.
All right, now we're back in Walbridge, Ohio. We would check out the yard because we would actually hear a bunch of good stuff that's actually in the yard, actually. This Jeep, HCCRX Jeep, I saw that one of their Jeeps, but it was on M510. We saw some FRA cars just sitting in the yard, and 911 is just sitting in the yard as well, not planning to go on anything till like later this afternoon. But we, you guys, will wait for our next adventure. Our next adventure will take place on the NS Chicago line. Now we got BNSF 7713, which is an H2 Jibo that is leading. This animal, which is probably 267 or 29P. It has a UP70M that is trailing behind the BNSF H2. But whatever he would start moving, I would record it right away and get pictures. But he had Kuvidi on the side of the locomotive. Alrighty, now we got an eastbound coming. My nephew was doing some fishing by the tracks, and I would be well fitting the Chicago line. Our first eastbound would be a manifest. 
it would have a C six M and then a UP GO as a rear DPU. But UPs are cool. They are very cool. But I see a lot. Same thing with C six M. But this is a manifest. Alrighty, now here comes another eastbound. I would actually post this online on Facebook since I thought I would give, give it a heads up. I would be on Fostoria Road and this would be the final catch till August. But 270Ms are being trailed on this ethanol.
like. This is very rare on the animal railroad. If you can see, two NS locomotives are leading this grain train. They ran like the Friday night ago, and, and there was another grain train on Saturday night before my meetup of the fifth year anniversary. That video should be coming out soon, very soon, if I'm not mistaken. But let's focus on the grain train. This grain train went up towards Oakley, Michigan for the grain elevator and then head south back towards Toledo. Some reason he's taking the N on the railroad. I thought you would take the Holly Sub and then taking the CN all the way down, but he took the Great Lakes Central from Owasso to Duran and then Pitt Junction, Duran, that's south of Duran, and then from there to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and then from Ann Arbor Railroad trackage towards Toledo. So, the grain train was fire catching it on the Ann Arbor Railroad with this type of scene. After getting the NS grain train, I would take some days off of well fitting of the end of the summer. And now, where well, it's not really exactly the end of the summer just yet. We're back onto my home state Wells by the CSX Saginaw subdivision. And now we are waiting on some significant train. That would be a southbound auto lag, which is M212 from Wayne, Michigan to Willard, which had Solo leading the CSXT 911 Spirit of First Responders, one of the spirit units, is leading this M212 tonight.
There goes a CN 100th anniversary now. A train on an ethanol going west towards Chicago. And we're back at the Toledo Amtrak station. I have not been here in like months. Usually I will get Amtrak here all the time. But this year I really have not. I've been going other places catching the trains and stuff, but man, this Amtrak was a treat. The Amtrak 49 Lakeshore Limited was pretty treated to us this morning. We would meet up with Fosswell Photos and the Amtrak 50th Anniversary 160 Pesty Can would be trailing on Amtrak 49 will be arriving at 8.54 a.m. Well, they just now blew the horn of the P-42-110, but they're not exactly departing. If they would depart, the bell will go off, but it's oh. not going off. This will probably mean that they probably don't have much time to have passengers get on the two trains. I would actually get some stock pictures of 49s just sitting there. And now we have an eastbound manifest heading towards Conway or Bellevue, Ohio. He would have a g that is leading. A Dash 9, 9969 would be trailing with the, as a Dash 9. This manifest is going east through the pad. He, the manifest don't stop here in Toledo. Only animals and Arawax do, which is Somehow weird, but not weird at the same time.
Well, there goes 49 now departing as of 9.09 a.m. That was the scheduling departing from the station at Toledo. Now he's heading towards Bryan, Ohio, which is the next stop at the Amtrak station in Bryan, Ohio. 49 does stop there, but 29 does not. I don't know. 29 is a shorter train than 49. He is like 12 cars depending. But 29 is only like 3 cars now. He used to be like 6 or 5, but now it's 3. But bye bye to 49. Alright, now we're just driving around, and there goes a southbound manifest with a BNSF Jeeva in the lead on this short, very short manifest that is on this NS Detroit line, which is probably 333. It's a short 333. Now I think about it, he is going towards Bellevue, Ohio for the Detroit line. We have a CSX northbound on the old Saginaw subdivision. It's CSX M510, which is having a solo Jivo. I'm the one who always say Jivos, but Jivos are sometimes boring, my opinion. We see them all the gosh darn time, but I was just cruising around, well, driving around and then seeing a northbound coming and then decided to get it besides it, I could get some more content from seeing more trains but narrating takes a long time to edit but doesn't care but let's just get the west of this M510 
well, here comes the goes at R-150 from North Baltimore to Detroit, Michigan. Doesn't have too much today. Yes, long, but I was getting some perfect and different angle of this I-150 heading north. Getting him north of Erie, Michigan. And the only thing I had with me was my phone. So that's the only thing I had with me at the time. And I was just doing some more driving because I was bored. And we're looking for a car and then coming back getting I'm looking at the car. Here game I win fifty. Already. It's been an awfully morning. Just got to Middlebury around 7 o'clock in the morning. I would thought we would get some sunrise pictures, but I guess not. Because now it's like almost 7 o'clock. Sunrise came up by like 6. We should have been out here by 6, but I don't know. I was doing some other stuff before well fitting. Man, getting some pang of the weird DPU and other stuff. Now, we have another train coming up. This is all elephant style, all NS companies, NS units, and they're all elephant style. This animal is flying east. Like, after like eight to nine minutes later, there was already another train. So, they were busy this morning. Two trains in like 15 to 30 minutes. That's actually really good. Let's get this eastbound. showing and then this one came Alright, after chilling in the car so long, it wasn't even that long, and then, like, probably, like, five minutes later being in a car, 
I didn't hear any horns or anything. My volume on my phone was turned off. Didn't hear anything. And I was just chilling, looking on my phone, checking Facebook and stuff. And boom, gates went down. That was the uh, the first westbound that we caught. Now we got this other westbound with BNSF power. Second, twelve second actually, and then the mid DPU, and then now this eastbound is rolling by. This one would actually be be our last NS of the day, actually in the morning. I wouldn't be back on the NS for quite a while. Well, literally a northbound. It's a Lake State Railway L313 from Walbridge to Wixom, Michigan, but they go all the way up to Flint, Michigan, which is quite far, but still, at least we got Lake State. However, I heard them talking on a radio, didn't know when they would be leaving. So yeah, it was a totally surprise catching the Lake State this morning. N511 would definitely have a light to go south and I would only get this matter of footage for this morning N511 would actually be our last train for the day and then I would be just taking the rest of a day off and then taking the rest of the ne next day off till the tomorrow night and 511 with just a bunch of GEs. Very short today. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. I was just chilling getting moon full moon pictures because it was supposed to be a full moon tonight and I got some lonely moon pictures and then I just thought to myself let's go see if we get a train and get exposure with the train and the moon well that shot ending up went very very good this is L314 from Flint to Walbridge, Ohio. The Lake State would be trailing. That was a very, very good surprise. Was not expecting the Lake State to head south at this time. It was about 10 o'clock at night. And I will show you guys the exposure pictures I got of this train. Hang on one sec. They, be, they should be pulling up here on the editing very shortly.
getting some exposure. Just got the tail in. Which was cool, it was Lake State. That's cool. All right, it's the next day, everybody. And now, I am by Ruga, Michigan, which is the old DTNI on the INO, which is Indiana, Ohio Railroad. And today, we have a special leader. I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. Let's see get the power roll by. So the Indiana Ohio Railroad 3488 was built in 1277. It was painted into the BNN paint and now it was X BNN 7014 and now it belongs to Indiana and Ohio Railroad which is leading the flat rock turn returning to Delta. But this video is signing off here at the ending of summer of 2023. Thank you for all watching and I will see y'all either Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wales which I don't know when the next video so see y'all.